Ladies and gents, Six Fix here from YouTube. In today's video, guess what? We're talking about the one and only powerhouse internet computer ICP, baby. Now, we are going to be examining price action at a very high level, like we always do. We're down 4.5% on the day, down about 6% on the week, 30% on the month. Oh, boy. Uh, price currently at $5. Now... This has been this insane, insane ride the last couple weeks with ICP. Mega, mega, in uh, mega, mega head and shoulders pattern that's formed. We got a mega falling wedge that's formed. And really, we're seeing price try to break out of this falling wedge, but it just keeps failing. So, what's happening? Well, we've got this harmonic pattern that I do think is still in play. Now, this harmonic pattern is known as a bullish Gartley or a bullish butterfly. And really, the short-term skinny on what this exactly is, is it's kind of a bearish pattern that really helps you kind of time where price will retrace to. Even though it's called a bullish Gartley, uh, it's called that because it allows traders or helps them try to determine where the bottom is. So none of this should be construed as financial or trading advice or anything like that. But I started telling everybody about this potential uh, really about 10 days ago. I started warning people that this harmonic pattern was coming into play, that we are looking at the price to come anywhere between this four dollar 74 cent level down to the four dollar and 45 cent level uh, it looks like we did have price uh really wick down towards the 127 i do believe that this harmonic pattern is still in play especially if price action falls below this trend line here again you see, anytime that this thing falls below this trend line, we go for a little wicked ass ride. And I do think that, you know, this could be the case as to what is happening uh, right now. So I am going to go ahead and just throw up something like this. And we will replicate these candles, just kind of bring them right down here. And you can kind of see that if the bottom drops, we might see something like this occur. And then we might even see something like this occur if things get even nastier. And this might bring us kind of right down to this $4.45 level. At that point, folks, I would feel comfortable with maybe saying there is some sort of ABC corrective wave in the market. I just don't know. We need more time with this right now. I'm just kind of waiting to see if price can hold really above this five dollar level which my goodness it's been struggling for the last three or four days to hold this five dollar level uh but let's look at icp here on the weekly and then just kind of get a glimpse as to what exactly is going on this is one of the most bullish things uh that i've seen uh with icp and really it comes down to the RSI, which is the Relative Strength Index. And you can see it's only been as high as 46 and a half points, somewhere in there. That's nuts because this thing's going to eventually someday get up to like 80 points, uh, 90 points on uh, the weekly chart. So, man, I can't wait for when this surge uh, happens but right now we got some spinning tops which on these higher time frame charts like the weekly patterns are it's, it's kind of indicative of you know that the price action is going to turn around um, so indecision we see spinning tops here spinning tops here spinning top here you know when you start to see you know full-blown candles turn into spinning tops on the weekly it usually indicates that you know things are possibly going to turn around so uh yeah that's where we're at on the weekly chart let's just look at this daily again we're testing this 200 moving average there is a symmetrical triangle squeeze happening here right now and we know this because we can drop uh these lines here so i would say um that within the next day 
we are going to see ICP move. Um, and on the daily chart, there is a clean neckline for a head and shoulders pattern. So uh, we are waiting to see if price comes down. Man, this, is, this thing could execute. Uh, we could be seeing some low numbers here in the following weeks if this thing executes. Uh, but right now, if we get a little bump, watch for resistance around the $5.70 level. Uh, but if you see this thing trading below $4.54, man, uh, that was a great common uh, resistance and support level uh, the last three or four months dating back to December. So if we fall below this, we could be in uh, some trouble. But there is some hope because even if we end up kind of falling down a little bit you can see and this is kind of what i'm trying to teach people is this this art of forward thinking patterns and things like that so let's say the price does dive down well what next we can see that we would have possibly a falling wedge which is pretty bullish so uh you know no matter what if, if we see the price kind of stagger on down here this four dollar four dollar thirty cent level uh, we might be prepping uh, for a nice bounce. But we got one, two, three, four touch points on this falling wedge. So hopefully we can get a nice breakout. This is just, we, we're in this symmetrical triangle squeeze, just kind of like what I was saying. Um, and there's really not much we can do about it, but just wait until this squeeze unfolds to try to determine which way prices are going. And then we can do some more technical analysis at a high level of where we might think these prices are going to. Check out my um, open chat group, folks. This is free. It's completely free. It'll always be free. If you're interested in what charts and things like that I'm looking at in between these videos, join. And you can interact with me. I will sit down every single day and address anybody who sent me a message on open chat for sure. Or at least I will try to. So with that said, folks, we'll see you all on the next video.